But I've turned it on my phone. Um, we'll see. If not, I'll probably just do a voiceover. But uh, good morning. Um, do a little video here on like starting juicing and why somebody would juice and just how to start. And uh, first, I want to read this uh, from Psalm 119, uh, verses 29 through 38. Excuse me. <clears throat> Remove for me. Remove the false way from me and graciously grant me your law. I have chosen the faithful way. I have placed your ordinances before me. I cling to your testimonies, O Lord. Do not put me to shame. I shall run the way of your commands, for you enlarge my heart. Teach me, O Lord, the way of your statutes, and I shall observe it to the end. Give me understanding that I may observe it to the end. Give me understanding that I may observe your law and keep it with my whole heart. Make me walk in the path of your commandments, for I delight in it. Incline my heart to your testimonies, and not to dishonest gain. Turn away my eyes from looking at vanity, and revive in me your ways. Establish your word to your servant, as which produces reverence for you. The Psalm 119, verses 29 through 38. Such powerful, life-changing psalms. Um, so, this juice is going to be a red cabbage. A yeah, red cabbage. Uh, purple sweet potatoes and some beets and actually the beet greens look pretty good so I'm going to do the beet greens in this juice uh, a handful of ginger maybe a piece of turmeric and um, a couple lemons um, I got a lime over there there's a pineapple sitting there so maybe a piece of pineapple in this juice this is a good one for a piece of pineapple a couple apples or an apple or two be real strong red juice um, really good at getting that stuff out so I'm going to turn this juicer on and we're going to see what let me find my my push peg first well I just had it oh here it is okay I'm using <clears throat> we use the try best green star pro and it is white but it is it is indeed it's still a pro uh, most of the pros are gray We've had this juicer for just about a year now. So it was ordered in February. I didn't get it till March. Um, last year at this time, I was not feeling very good at all. Um, I'm making major improvements in that. Um, my father actually bought this for me and my family. Um, at the time, we could not. we could not have afforded it. So hopefully you're getting more of my voice than the sound of this. But the sound of this juicer is pretty awesome. Um, so it runs through this red cabbage. So really, I guess the, I want to kind of make this video on why, why you would start juicing and how maybe you would start juicing. And uh, the why is certainly, um, for me, it was more, it was healing. Weight loss was part of that healing process. I wasn't too overweight, but I was really uh, quite overweight for my for me. So, um, and I'm still on a healing journey. It's uh, I had 40 years of cramming as many toxins as my body that would fit for a long time. Um, for a really, really long time, I I really drank a lot of alcohol. Um, did a lot of other really bad things. And I still am not, uh, not incredibly bright all the time. Um, I've been good dietary wise, but there's certainly other areas in my life that I could, uh, I needed to improve. But the juicing, so the juicing, what really the juicing does is it just kind of allows your body to remove the toxicity from the poisons that have accumulated over the time when your body is not digesting food um, to receive the nutrients, and more than when, you're, when you say your body is not digesting food, it's oh, that's very—I um, don't even know. 
It's not, I mean, think about how your body digests food and all, just for example, think about all the other microorganisms that are in your gut that are part of that process of digestion. And well, no, when you feed those things what they want, too, you're going to do a lot better as well. Uh, they're going to be able to work for you more efficiently. And that's the same with soil. I've been working outside. It's been beautiful here. Um, after I have this luscious juice, I had some green juices to press today for myself and then for my beautifully uh, pregnant wife. So we are expecting number seven uh, next month in March. It's already not even, yeah, next month. So a couple weeks away. She is ready. So I'm going to get her into some green juices which will um, help build like iron levels and be loaded with uh, chlorophyll it's so good for uh, our blood making capacities and um, uh, the plant cell structures are so close to our blood cell structure so anyways we're removing toxins and poisons and other than a straight up fast, um, which I find to be, you know, the, the more effective way of uh, removing poisons and toxins for sure. I'm going to try to stand over here a little bit. I'm sure I'm probably getting that mic real close to that grinder. <laughs> um, but anyways, it's, so it's a way of, we're just, a way of, of um, fasting would be more efficient. Um, fasting, juicing. Any of this stuff isn't going to be extreme, it's, it's extremely valuable even as a diet, but it's not going to be as valuable as if it's something that's a, a lifestyle change. Um, like I said, my health uh, dictated my drastic changes, um, and I, I still... Uh, struggle with healing and with detoxing and with days and weeks and, and times where I just I don't feel very good all the time um, but that's improving drastically um, so drastically uh, this juice is just gonna be so anyways what, what we're doing is really aiding our body in the and its ability to remove toxins, aiding our body and its ability to do what our God and Elohim has created it to do. Really a, this powerful systems that we just cram up and block with, you know, soda and beer and alcohol and whatever else um, over the counter drugs and uh, monster energy drinks oh I don't know how many days of my life where I drank a multitude a multitude of monster energy drinks oh I could not imagine how bad that would make me feel right now and I still have toxins to cut on my life I can't get away from a cup of coffee in the morning it's bad but I'm gonna do that so I'm working hard at it so look at the purple that juice I spilled it all over the place <laughs> yeah the so that red cabbage juice makes the purplest purple juice I'm just gonna throw this in the refrigerator over here So I got some lemons I'm going to put in this juice. I can't believe I spilled that. Spilled that purple goodness all over the place. Um, so that's really what what I would say uh, juicing is doing. It's not the, not the fruits and the vegetables that are um, going to be powerful enough or hold any type of, of real power. Um, it's, you know, the... So if the, if the, if the gospel, the 
kingdom of God is the actual, you know, the, the gospel of his coming kingdom and the structure that that kingdom's going to uphold. There's uh, if thens and if you place yourself, I, I believe wholeheartedly that if you place yourself within that structure that you're, he's going to honor that to some degree. So if, if you are going to um, elders when you're sick, like James 5 talks about, um, anywhere within that system that's set forth within Scripture, if we can place ourselves in the, the proper context and the proper behavior based on that Scripture that He has prescribed to us, I think that there's going to be blessings in that, and I think it's, it's the same with the food that... Um, it's just what is meant for our bodies. Like, uh, I don't know how true it is, so I really haven't, I'm not, I'm gonna say I'm not smart, but I'm not, uh, I really haven't looked into the validity of maybe some of the things or a lot of the things that you hear me talk about, but um, the H3O in the water being a, a prime, you know, example of that, exactly what, you know, inscripted with what our bodies, our cells know what to do with this. Um, it's like instantly, so the, all that, uh, the bacteria and the, the flora within our bodies, um, just, you know, cranking out wellness and health and happiness, and they're not uh, decomposing meat and dairy products and causing inflammation and all kinds of, like, wrong system. Like, you get yourself onto that right track and it's really you know a, a really spiritual thing but it's it's not a healing from him it's not this is not a divine healing process um this is little to no different than um going to see a doctor a doctor would be a, a, a mechanic uh, a lot of times i think that it would be nice to go see a doctor um this isn't necessarily going to fix or cure you, stop you from dying. Uh, neither is seeing a doctor. Um, I guess is uh, I've been spending a lot of time studying healing and health and uh, putting an actual scripturally based uh, teaching together on healing. God can take it from us like that. And when he takes it from us, he, can, he takes it like that. Um, we can be an anointed for an illness or a health concern and it not be ta he take He can take it without taking it. So time and his timing and stuff, it gets, it's too complicated for my simple mind, but I know that this is not, what I'm trying to say is this is not, if I can teach you how to juice or give you a juicer, um, I'm encouraging your body to do what it's divinely made to do, but I don't think that this is the same thing as setting up one of those uh, gospel revival healing tents and um, not that I think they're doing scripturally based healings either but this is more giving your body the ability to clean out the poisons which is what if he is going to heal you that's what he is going to do instantly he's going to take those poisons out and not putting poisons in 